On today's Lions Live, we will start with exploring the Vet Med class and then we will move on to the 2023 Grammy Awards. Following that, we'll go into our sports segment and to finalize the episode, we'll take a look at our LHS Super Bowl predictions. Welcome back to Lions Live. I'm Emily Alvarado. And I'm Braden Vickery. We will kick this episode off by checking out the exciting happenings in the class of VetMed with Aiden, who will be interviewing students who will explain what VetMed is, the certifications you can earn, and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm headed out to the CTE buildings to check out one of the Vet Med classes taught by Ms. Krebs. The Vet Med and Small Animal Management classes teach students about companion, livestock, and some exotic animal breeds. The classes prepare students for a career starting with dog grooming, to be certified vet assistants, or someday owning their own businesses. Let's go see what the students are doing today and talk with a few of them. I'm here today with Kyle Harrington. And can you tell me a little bit about this class? This class is equine science, and throughout the year, we've learned a lot about horses, horse judging, and how to tell what horses are better than others. And now we've gone on to doing dogs. Uh, can you explain to me what you're doing with the dogs here today? Today, we're grooming dogs, which includes doing their nails, trimming their hair, and bathing them. I'm here today with... Kira Flanoy. And I heard last semester y'all studied equine science. Can you explain that in a little bit more detail? Um, we basically learned the anatomy of horses, um, how to like give them proper like medication and stuff like that. So I know this is animal science, but what's the next step after this class? Vet med. What do you learn in vet med and how would that prepare you for your future? Um, they talk about different diseases that certain animals could have and how exactly you can treat them and the different types of tools and everything that you use while you're, let's say, like performing surgery or something. Or just any medical thing with vet, it teaches you it. What's the most challenging part about this class? To be honest, the class is pretty easy. It just includes a lot of computer work anytime you're not grooming dogs. So a lot of it is online work, trying to get certifications in order to be allowed to do certain things. Okay, and so what are y'all doing different this semester? Um, well, we'll be doing like grooming dogs and like how to take care of them and like what steps we should do. Okay, and what is the most challenging part of this class to you? Horse judging. That's really hard. <laughs> Is there any certifications involved with this class, M3? What are the different types of certifications? Um, I assume there is, considering it is kind of like a like a career set thing. And even for this class, I'm, I could get like a certification for this. So I assume that you could get a certification for this. Yeah. Well, if you like animals, this may be a class you should sign up for. Back to you, Brayden and Emily. Thanks, Aiden, for shedding light on the world of vet med. Now, Victor will show us the 2023 Grammy Award winners. What's up, Lions? Today we're going to talk about the Grammys. More specifically, who won this year, and I'm excited to share that today. If you're living underneath a rock or you're just 60 years old, the Grammys are an annual event where the best artists in the world try to compete for an award. And today, we're going to announce the winners with you. First, we got producers of the year, non-classical. We got some good nominees like Metro Boomin and Hip Boy, but the winner was Jank Antonoff. Congrats but Metro should've won this category. Moving on, we got Best Pop Solo Performance. There were some very popular songs in this category, but the winner was Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Not my cup of tea, honestly, but TikTok classic indeed. Next, we got Best Rock Album. I'm not a fan of this genre, but I know people who are. There was a good album like The Food Fighters, that album was good, but the winner of this category was This Is Why. Congrats, I bet all the emo fans are happy. Following that, we got Best Alternative Music Album. There were really good albums in this category, like Aldo Rays, I'm not reading all that, and Gorillaz, Cracker Island, respectively. But the winner of this category was Boy Genius's The Record. Congrats. Regardless, we got Best Country Album, and the winner of this category was Bell Bottom Country. I bet all the country kids are happy or crying over this. Afterwards, we got Best Musica Mexicana Album. All our mediocre albums in this category, but Henny Says won this award. Hope all the Mexicans are happy. Finally, we got the best category in my opinion, which is Best Rap Album. There was really fantastic albums like Utopia, Heroes and Villains, Her Loss, and King Disease 3. 
but the winner was Michael by Killer Mike. I'm surprised the Grammys chose Killer Mike. Knowing that it sold 20k first week and Utopia sold over 500,000, it was streamed 3 billion times. But regardless, it's the Grammys. Scams? Probably. But don't hate the game, hate the player. Now back to you, Brian and Emily. Well, I didn't expect some of those results this year. Neither did I. But now, we'll catch up on our winter sports with Jaden and one of our upcoming reporters, Arado. Hello Lions, it's Jaden here with another update with the Lady Lions Sports. Girls Tennis has started out their season strong with Alexis and Alea Jisco winning first place in doubles on February 2nd. Despite facing the challenges and tough losses, the girls basketball team displayed strength and resilience throughout the season. Last Friday on February 2nd, they celebrated their senior night to honor Shaylin Hill, Brianna Johnson, and Erica Miles. The girls powerlifting team went to their first meet at Harden Jefferson January 18th, placing second overall. Then February 1st, the Lady Lions had a home meet, placing second overall with Shelby Sandoval, Madison Allen, Jillian Patsy, and Ebony Mays, placing first in their weight class. The Lady Lions soccer team had their first district game January 26th against Liberty, winning 10-0. Claire Wrighton was the player of the game and the top scorer was Caitlin Shirley with six points. Lastly, the girls varsity soccer team beat Splendora with a score of 3-0. Come out and support our soccer teams this Friday at Huffman. Now on to Irada Robinson who will be our future sports reporter. Hey, it's Erod here reporting on boys sports. Varsity boys basketball took a 74-50 win against the West Force Gators on January 19th. Lycus Garden had an 18 point game with 7 rebounds. Jay Randolph had 15 points with 10 rebounds. What a win. On January 23rd, the boys took on the Liberty Panthers and got another win with the final score of 61 to 45. Points were gifted this game as Jaden Randolph had 24 and Zachary Garner had 23. Way to go, boys. The wins kept coming after another game resulted in a 58-33 win over the Spandora Wildcats. They could not stop Jaden Randolph as he had 20 points and 20 rebounds. What a season he's having. On January 30th, the Lions high streak unfortunately came to an end as they took a loss to the Huffman Falcons. Despite the loss, there were still some good stats to spot. Terrence Gray had 17 point game as well for 12 for Tyrell Fagan. The boys went 3-1 during this four game streak. On February 2nd, the boys took a loss to the number one team in the district, Hampshire Fournette. The pilot team went to the Hart and Jefferson meet on January 18th and took home first place in their meet. The boys had their second meet here at home as they ran the competition and took home another first place finish. The following kids were named first place in their class. Jacob Ganzers, Enrique Tellez, Alex Perez, and Brady Ganzers. Way to go boys to keep up the good work. The guys fought hard at Liberty through a 24 hour rain delay as the boys soccer got a 5-0 win. Our very own Braden Vickery scored one of the five for the game. This was a big win as they kicked off district. And for boys tennis, doubles partners Gavin McFarland and Jack New had a successful trip to New Caney as they took home first place in doubles. Yeah! That's all we have on boys sports. Back to you, Braden and Emily. Thank you for the update. As you can see, we have a lot going on in our athletics program. We will now move on to our last segment. This has been the talk of the week. Donnie and Jack will go in the halls and see the Super Bowl predictions we have here at LHS. What's up, guys? I'm Donnie. I'm Jack. And today we're going to be testing out people's Super Bowl knowledge. Today I'm here with? Gavin McFarlane. Do you have a favorite NFL team? Uh, yes. Well, who are they? The Houston Texans. Name three people. Uh, Jalen Petrie, uh, CJ Stroud, Nico Collins. Valid. Who's in the Super Bowl this year? Uh, it's the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Who do you think is going to win this year? Um, let's go Niners. Score? Uh, 35 to 28. All right, valid. I'm here with? <laughs> Josie. Josie, do you watch football? A little bit. Okay, what does NFL stand for? National Football League. Can you name three NFL teams? The Cowboys, the Chiefs, the Patriots. Can you name any players on those teams? Uh, Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, uh, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Isaiah Pacheco, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of Travis Kelsey, who is he dating? T Swift. And are you a Swifty? A little bit. Okay, and who's playing in the Super Bowl this year? The 49ers and the Chiefs. Who you got? The Chiefs. The Chiefs. Because of Taylor Swift? No. Okay. Thanks. Today I'm here with? Maya Giannis. Who is your favorite team? The Eagles. What other colors? Green, white, and black. Can you name three people on the team? Kelsey. Jalen Hurts. There you go. And then Brown. Okay, that's valid. We'll take it. All right, who's in the Super Bowl this year? The 49ers and the Chiefs. Do you have a score prediction? I 
think the 49ers are going to win 17 to 15. There you go. You heard it here first. All right. I'm here with? Maddie. Maddie, do you watch football? No. Well, during football season, yes, because I'm a cheerleader. But What about NFL season? No. Can you tell me what NFL stands for? National Football League. Okay. And can you name an NFL team? Um, the Broncos, I think. They're Broncos, yeah. Okay, can you name a player on the Broncos? That's stretching it. Wait, I know the Texans, J.J. Watt. Yeah, J.J. Yeah, he plays for the Broncos. Um, I said the Texans. I changed it. He's, he's retired. It's all right, though. And you know who's in the Super Bowl? The Chiefs. And who? Don't know. 49ers. Hey, okay. And who do you think is going to win? Chiefs, because of Patrick Mahomes. And do you know who Travis Kelsey is? Yeah, that's Taylor Swift's something. Boyfriend. Yeah, uh, okay. Are you a Swifty? No. Okay. Today I'm here with? Carson Pipes. Who's your favorite team? Dallas Cowboys. Can you name three players on that team? Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, and Micah Parsons. Hey, there you go. All right. What name? What is the name of the trophy that both teams compete for in the Super Bowl? The Lombardi. Score predictions for this year's Super Bowl? Uh, I'm going to pick 49ers 20. Chief 17. All right, you heard it here first. Today I'm here with? Demorian Hill. Who's your favorite NFL team? Uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Can you name three players on that team? Uh, Dak Prescott, Michael Gallup, and Tony Pollard. Hey, there you go. Those were new people, so that's good. All right, um, okay. Who is the name of the girl that is dating Travis Kelsey? Uh, Taylor Swift. There you go. All right, score predictions for this year's Super Bowl? Uh, 30 to 24, uh, Kansas City. All right, you heard it here first. Today I'm here with? Jordan Houston, class 2024. <laughs> All right. All right, who's your favorite NFL team? Ah, uh, Texans. Name three people on the Texans. Nico Collins. Okay. Tank Dell. Okay. CJ Stroud. Hey, there we go. All right. All right, keep it going. No, I'm good. All right, all right, all right. All right, yeah. all right, all right. All right, so who is in the Super Bowl this year? The 49ers and the Chiefs. <laughs> All right, score prediction. The Chiefs are going to cry baby Mahomes. They're going to pay the rest. I mean, they pay the rest every year. What can we expect anymore? Taylor Swift and the Swifties need to go down. I'm tired of the Swifties. They need to lose, bro. The 49ers are going to come in there and smack that. I got to keep PG. I got to keep PG. All right, all right. Uh, what's the score? 69-0. to zero. Whoa. Whoa, you heard it. You heard it here first. Today I'm here with? Bodie Jones. All right, who's your favorite NFL team? Uh, it was the Buccaneers when uh, Tom Brady was in it, but now Tom Brady retired. So All right. Nobody. All right, so can you name three players on the Buccaneers? Tom Brady. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right, who's in the Super Bowl this year? Uh, the Kansas Chiefs. And Is that right? No. Yeah. And... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, do you at least know the girl who's dating Travis Kelsey? Oh, uh, Lady Gaga or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> Today I'm here with Evan Jones. Who is your favorite NFL team? Uh, probably the Texans. All right. Can you name three players on the Texans? Uh, Jalen Petrie, Robert Woods, and Derek Stingley Jr. Who's their mascot's name? Uh, Toro. Okay. Um, what What's their stadium called? Uh, NRG. All right. Who's in the Super Bowl? Right now, it's the uh, Chiefs and 49ers. Where do the Ken Kansas City Chiefs play? Where do they play? Arrowhead. All right. Where do the 49ers play? I honestly couldn't tell you where. The I couldn't tell you either. They're kind of irrelevant, so whatever. All right, score prediction? Uh, 35. I'll say 35-28, uh, 49ers. All right, all right. Do you know where the Super Bowl was played this year? Uh, that was a... Uh, is it in Vegas? It is in Vegas. There you go. Good job. Thank you. There was one too many Swifties and a wide range of Super Bowl predictions. Back to you, Brandon and Emily. Well, I predict the 49ers will win. What do you think? Um, I predict the Chiefs will win because if they win, Taylor might get that big ring. Can you imagine that? Not everything's about Taylor Swift. I actually feel like a lot of people would agree with me. Let's just wrap this up. That's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to stay caught up on the LSD Facebook and YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on, on Lions, Lions Live. Live.